Okay, so the bunner here is going to be doing what the on-deck hitter would be doing. If you have a lot of kids that you're trying to get bunting done, you can have your, your hitter, your on-deck person shadow bunting, and you can have a second on-deck person shadow bunting off the tee, and they can be timing the pitcher at this point, or they can just be doing it as she is doing it. The lower the tee, the better, so you can really work on bending your knees and getting to the low strike. Okay, or you can move the tee up and work on bunting the high pitch. Okay, so those are your three stations right there. And our bunner's doing an excellent job right there. Good job. One more. One problem that may arise from bunting like this off of the tee is you have your bunter, and why don't you demonstrate for us, bunter, turning and getting the bat right to the ball. Okay. What you really want to do is your work on your bunting form here. So we're going to have her pivot and turn and then bend the knee and go down to bunt the ball. Okay, so doing this drill wrong would be just bringing the bat right down to the ball. Instead, the proper way would be turn as if you're turning and the pitcher is pitching and then bend the knees to go down to a ball that's thrown down or to go to a ball that's thrown up. Okay, so you want to pivot first, turn, set, and then go down to the ball to bunt it.